I have an important announcement to make. The video you are about to see contains language that some people might find offensive. I mean the French and the Spanish, to be precise. Too bad I can't say the same about the Italians and the Russians. And the Germans. I should have made at least one Nazi joke. Well, I'm not perfect. Sorry about that. Welcome to the Harvest Show. Hi there, Initiates. As you probably know, there's this harvester released in US, and then there's this harvester released in Europe. The difference between these two versions is that the European version is censored. Two cutscenes have been cut off. They are both from the scene where kids are eating their mom. And some mothers complain that their children don't come to see them. And here's the other censored cutscene. You don't know the half of it. Actually, there's another difference between these two versions. In the beginning of the US version, there's Merit Studios' logo. That was the publisher of the game. In Europe, the publisher was Virgin. So you can see Virgin's logo in the beginning of the European version. So if you are unsure which version you are playing, that's how you know. Harvester was translated in Spanish and French. I'm happy I live in Finland, because sometimes the voice acting in Spanish and French versions is just stupid. By the way, I have seen only one French game being sold in Finland, and it happened to be this. Actually, there are two games in the box, The Seventh Guest and Harvester, both in French. Let's take a closer look at the French version of Harvester. But at first I have to say that the marketing men in France were fearless. Because they released this ad in some gaming mag. The peak on the ad is from this cutscene. What's wrong with her? My goodness! Oh, it's not as bad as it looks. You just pop them back in. See? I'm actually pretty surprised that this cutscene was not censored in Europe. Sometimes in the French version they have recreated the voice acting in places where it's not necessary. For example, when dad is coughing behind the door. Here's the original English version. <laughs> In the French version, it sounds like this. <coughs> Why did they recreate that? Do the French cough differently than the rest of the humankind? Sometimes in the French version, the voice of a character is totally different than the original. For example, Edna, who hangs herself during the game, Sounds very pleasant and soft in the original Harvester. Oh, Steve, what are you doing sneaking up on me like that? The French speaking Edna sounds nothing like pleasant and soft. Oh, Steve, qu'est-ce que tu fabriques à m'espionner comme ça? You're looking at a free lunch, boys. Come and get it. She sounds like she has already hanged herself. In some cutscenes, you can hear the original English voice acting and the French voice acting at the same time. Like here. In some cutscenes, there's no background music. That sounds hollow and lame and kind of funny. For example, when Steve gets electrocuted. Au secours, aidez-moi! Mais, mais qu'est-ce que vous voulez de moi Trop tard pour ça, fiston. Pas vrai, sergent Bien sûr que oui, shérif. Les réponses ne sont que dans l'ordre. That was not funny. There are things in this world that are sacred. Things that you can't touch and you just can't change. 
The original voice acting of Sergeant at Arms is one of those things. Maybe Al Bundy was right. Rule two, it is wrong to be French. When Steve finally gets electrocuted, we can hear some background music. But that's not relevant here. What's relevant is Steve screaming. In the original Harvester, Steve screams like this. Very convincing. In the French version, he screams like this. Why does this remind me of the movie Troll 2? They're eating her! And then they're going to eat me! Oh my god! The French version of Harvester has its flaws, but overall it's pretty good. They have really put an effort into it. You can't say that about the Spanish version. It sounds like some cheap telenovela. In the Spanish version, the voices of kids are especially interesting. Little brother Hank sounds like a girl. Mama está en la cocina y si me molestas, la llamaré. Also, the paper boy sounds like a girl. Hasta luego, cocodrilo! A boy who gets beaten by Mrs. Whaley sounds like a girl too. Y si cayera una bomba, ¿de qué serviría agacharse y cubrirse? So, what about Edna's little daughter, Karin? Does she sound like a boy then? Thank God not. Jugando. Mi mamá está trabajando, así que no puedo estar encima de ella. ¿Quieres jugar? The voice acting is pathetic most of the time. There is no acting, no feeling. Someone is just reading the lines from the paper. For example, when Steve meets Mr. Potsdam in the lodge. Mr. Potsdam has become a bloodthirsty monster who wants to kill Steve. So how does he react when he sees Steve? Bienvenido al templo del misterio de la carne, Steve. ¿Quieres un mordisco? Let's do some comparing. In the original Harvester, the gladiator in the lodge sounds like this. This is the temple of the mystery of mercy. You are just in time for our little retirement ceremony. In the Spanish version, he sounds like this. Este es el templo del misterio de la piedad. Has llegado a tiempo para nuestra pequeña ceremonia de retiro. Then there are some technical difficulties. For example, with my favorite character, the dark exotic woman. Bienvenido al templo de la belleza. No soy bella, eh, hombre. Mira mi pelo. Yep. Later in the discussion, the text changes into English and then the game crashes. About the voice acting, the dark exotic woman is the sexiest woman in the game. Was that really the sexiest voice they could get? Bastardo, chauvinista! Uh, sorry about that. There's one bug that's actually really scary. It occurs when you first time talk to Jimmy James. Hey, Steve! Soy Jimmy James, ¿te acuerdas? Um, supongo que no. ¡Eh! ¿Cómo es posible que no me hayas sacado el periódico por la mañana? Bueno, pues ya no, maldito capullo. He needs an exorcist. And here we come to the main problem of the Spanish version. The voice of Steve. Escucha, no quiero molestarte, pero no parece que recuerde nada. ¿Podrías decirme, por favor, quién eres? That voice could belong to a scary little mouse. No matter where Steve is or what he is doing, he always sounds like he is about to shit his pants. He is like the Spanish waiter Manuel in Faulty Towers. <laughs> Steve sounds like that even in the end of the game, where he has fought his way through the lodge and he has become a cold-blooded killer. Stephanie? Quiere que sea un asesino en serie. O él es el mundo real en este momento. Needless to say that the Spanish sergeant at arms is even worse than the French one. There's nothing epic in him. He is just some random Jose. 
Aparte de ti, ella es la única persona real en Harvest. I've played the original Harvester 22 years and the voice acting in it is perfect. So when I hear, for example, Stephanie suddenly speaking Spanish in the end of the game, I can't help but laugh. Estos cosechadores torturan a la gente de esta manera para hacer que les guste matar. Well, she isn't so bad, but she doesn't sound like a 17 year old. Now, let's sum this all up with the help of Range Rider. Here's the same cutscene in English, French and Spanish. Ah! Oh, shit! Ow! Oh, shit on a stickeroo! Ooh, de la merde en autocollant! Oh, mierda! Oh, pringa de mierda! The company that designed Harvester was DGFX. It went to bankruptcy soon after Harvester was released. DGFX had a website where they claimed that Harvester was sold in six languages. Six? What the hell? Well, I've heard rumors about the Italian and German translations. According to a rumor, they were already making the German translation, but because Harvester was banned in Germany, the work was never finished. Back to DGFX. On their website they told that Virgin will distribute Harvester throughout Europe, and they especially mentioned UK, Spain, Italy and Germany. Maybe that's why there are rumors about the Italian and German translations. Anyway, the fact is that Harvester was released only in English, Spanish and French. But there's one more version that definitely needs to be mentioned. In 2015, Harvester was released as a Russian translation. It was created by a group of Russian Harvester fans. They didn't recreate the voice acting, but they translated all the texts. And by that I mean also all the texts in the background graphics. Take a look at the post office, for example. Or Mrs. Phelps's store. Or the meat plant. Or the burnt bake sale flyer and postmaster boy's button. Or the note you can find from the sheriff's desk. And so on. The most amazing thing is that they translated also the sign of Edna's diner. They recreated the animation of the sign. They also translated the manual, of course. And something funny happened during the translation process. When they were hacking Harvester, they found this image. A cover of Harvest Boy magazine. You can't see this in the game. It's an inside joke hidden among the game files. Although the image doesn't appear in the game, the Russian guys translated it anyway. <laughs> wow. That's all I had to say about the different versions of Harvester. Many fans have asked me, where have I bought this awesome shirt? The link to the store is under the video. There's all kind of fan products available with this print and with more traditional print. Now it's time to end this video. Stop, Ardo. Sergeant at Arms, so nice to see you. Trick or treat. Oh yeah, it's Halloween. I repeat, trick or treat. You know what? I choose the trick. Show me what you got. Where's the trick? I'm waiting. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. His tricks can be pretty bad. What's he gonna do? I know, he's gonna eat me! Surprise, surprise, he didn't eat me, and there's not gonna be any trick. I just wanted to use that line from Troll 2. You always...
always wore a kidder, Ardo. You know me. Oh, one more thing. I have a Patreon account now. The link is under the video. I want to thank Johan and Odin and all the other wonderful patrons of mine for making this show possible. Your support means a lot to me. That's it. Please check out my Patreon and support the lots. Happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween.